today we're going to be talking about probably the most famous Stephen King film adaption ever made, The Shining. I don't know if I've ever really talked about The Shining on my channel at all, which is bizarre because it is such a classic. And this is definitely one of those where it's a little bit difficult for me to review. So this isn't going to be a formal review where I critique it or anything like that. I've definitely seen this film a lot, many, many times. And actually I just watched the documentary Room 237 on Netflix if you haven't seen that. I don't really recommend it because it's kind of boring, not gonna lie. But it's interesting to listen to all these conspiracy theories about the symbolism within The Shining and that Kubrick had put all these ideas into The Shining. So if you're into The Shining and you like the movie and you have theories of your own, maybe you'll enjoy that documentary. So The Shining is actually a movie that Stephen King himself was not happy with and he went on to make his own version of it that makes it more accurate to the novel however I have not seen that if you want me to watch it for you and review it for you I will I've just heard it's terrible and I don't want to ruin the image of The Shining in my mind but let me know if you'd like me to watch it I think a react video to it might be interesting you tell me basically what Stephen King said about this film is that Kubrick made a car with no engine so it was a pretty car it has a lot of surface beauty I guess you would say he thought it was cinematic done really well however it lacked depth and it lacked the plot that he had originally come up with for the book. He also did not like the casting. He did not want Shelley Duvall as the lead woman. He did not want Jack Nicholson to play Jack. There were some other actors up for those roles such as Jessica Lange for Shelley Duvall's role. I thought that was interesting. I think that honestly would have been more accurate to what Stephen King wanted. He had more in mind of a blonde woman who was a retired cheerleader basically who hadn't faced many struggles in life and that would have made the hotel experience that much scarier for her but instead he felt that Shelley Duvall her character and just her acting and everything made it seem like she had gone through things in life and so it wasn't as accurate to how he wanted to portray the wife and I believe Robert De Niro was one of the actors up for Jack Torrance and also Robin Williams after Kubrick watched Mork and Mindy and Robin Williams role in that he thought he was too psychotic for the role of Jack Torrance which Seems a little contradictory to me, but okay, we'll go, we'll go with that. Now, if you guys didn't know, this is one of the most like intensive, difficult films that these actors have ever worked on, and I would say crew members as well. I think Shelley Duvall was the person who was treated the absolute worst on set, and Kubrick did this intentionally. He did not want anyone to feel sorry for her. He wanted her to feel helpless, to help play into her role and her character. Jack Nicholson only ate cheese sandwiches for the duration of filming this to help get that agitation going because he hates cheese sandwiches. I don't know, it's weird. And so both of the actors had said that this is one of the hardest films they've ever worked on. And Shelley Duvall said that she wouldn't trade it in for anything, but she would never do it again. Also, Kubrick is famous for shooting things a million times and being repetitive and making constant script changes, so much so that Jack Nicholson stopped reading the script and he would only read the script for the day of filming because there were so many changes going on. He was tired of memorizing things and like knowing what was gonna happen and then it being changed. So he just read the script for the day, did the day's work, and then called it a day. They shot scenes so many times. The famous here's Johnny scene as he breaks through the door. I'm assuming most of us have seen this movie, right? But the famous scene of here's Johnny took three days to film and 60 doors they went through. And the snowy scene of the maze and everything, it was actually filmed in a really hot location. Like they were really hot. They'd have to immediately undress and like take off their layers after they were done shooting, but they had to portray snow. So they used 900 tons of salt and styrofoam. Like the amount of work that went into this film alone, like I can't even wrap my brain around. That alone to me tells me that this movie is a classic because of all the work and everything. Shelley Duvall and Jack Nicholson actually were very upset about the way the critics gave credit only to the director and the way the movie was received as a whole because a lot of people show like appreciation to Kubrick and not the things that the actors had to go through and the crew and like just shooting it as a whole and yet Kubrick gets all the credit which it is his vision it's his I, and I say his vision even though it's a Stephen King adaption because he did stray so much from the book. So I really don't even consider this to be a true Stephen King adaption. They were gonna work together, but Kubrick actually turned down Stephen King's rendition and his screenplay. Also the little boy that plays Danny, he, Kubrick was very protective of him and there was a scene where Shelley Duvall's carrying him and screaming at Jack Nicholson and she was actually holding a dummy because he didn't want the child to be like traumatized by shooting this film. And the boy didn't even see the unedited 
raw like what we see he didn't see that film until 11 years later when he was 17 years old now the scare factors in this honestly they don't scare me personally i like this film cinematically and as a story and everything and i definitely see a lot of stephen king in the film in the sense that like i can tell that it was his original idea however well executed it was or not i can still see it. I, I know this is a Stephen King film basically. There is a lot of Kubrick in it but I do think that the scares in this aren't that bad. Is there disturbing factors? Definitely. And it may have to do with the fact that this came out in 1980 and that older films for me just generally aren't as effective scare wise. Don't get me wrong, I love this as a film. I just, I kind of agree with Stephen King when he says I don't see why this movie scared so many people. I guess I could see it in the 80s when it was a completely different time for horror movies. You tell me down below the first time you saw this was it truly that scary for you like were you really scared I think this is more of a performance arts piece like it's very artistic and just the the imagery and the shots were gorgeous and the acting is really well done and oh but I should mention this was actually nominated for two Razzie Awards which if you don't know what that is it's basically the opposite of the Oscars. It's for movies that are really, really bad, basically. It's an award show for bad movies. The Shining was nominated for two of those awards, one for Worst Actress by Shelley Duvall, and two, Worst Director. That's kind of all I have to talk about today and some trivia items about The Shining and that ultimately it's not scary for me, but I do like this as a movie and I do recommend it, but is it all that Stephen King-esque? Not really. You tell me your thoughts down below. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to vote in a poll of what you want to see next week and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.